Life is really fun, but it can get predictable. And every now and then you just need something wilder. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo, and today we are talking about getting wild. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> we are talking about the book, Something Wilder. The author is Christina Lauren. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature romance. Y'all, this book review is fun because there were two really important things. The first one is a quote. And the quote is from Lily and she says, she had to figure out how to make the life she had into the life she wanted. Okay, and that is so fascinating because we're following Lily. She's heartbroken by this guy. She's running this ranch and she stumbles back into the guy and she's like, but this is my life, but this is what I want. But th and so she's in a tug of war. Can I get all the things I want? How hard is it going to be to get all the things I want, right? In your mind, you know what you want. You want your ideal life to be recording YouTube videos all day long, being monetized, having people be obsessed with your reviews and reading more books. That's what I want. The life I have is not that. So how much work does it take to get from what I have to what I want? right? And so that's the struggle that Lily is going through throughout the whole book. But also the book is all about her taking over this ranch from her father. And so yes there's the love story but for me I'm a daddy's girl so I was drawn towards the relationship between Lily and her deceased father. This whole thing is about like a trail and a treasure hunt and can you find it and was dad lying about it and is there really all this money? And like I loved it <laughs> because Lily was so mad at her father for a while because of all these decisions that he made but again taking you back to the quote the life he had versus the life he wanted the life he had right then versus the life he wanted for his daughter they were always in odds they were in conflict throughout the entire book and so eventually we do find out that the life that her father had did create the life that he always wanted for her and Lily had to decide if she wanted to step into it as well. Okay, so really cute story all about love and, and all of the miscommunications that Christina Lauren always puts in their books. However, I love the relationship and even the guidance of the father with the daughter even after he had passed away. And so here's a clip of something that my mom gave back to me after my dad passed away. My daughter, uh, she actually wasn't even one years old when my dad passed and for Christmas the year before she had gave him this map where he could put in the quarters for every state of the U.S. And so after my dad passed my mom gave me that back and my daughter and I we try to find quarters every Father's Day and put them in here. So the part that really blew me out of the water was that guidance from Lily's father and how he was still around. Okay of course it was super cute when she reconnected with her guy. But if you're interested in a cute love story in the similar fashion that Christina Lauren always write about pick this up because you will definitely enjoy it. Do you know how many of these books I've read by Christina Lauren? Christina Lauren is two authors they've merged their name. I was embarrassed when I learned that. <laughs> Yes, Christina Lauren is a very exotic name, but I did just think it was one person and a very cool name. Christina Lauren is two people. They co-author all of these books. Okay, so super spoiler if you didn't know that. So that guidance and familial relationship is so important. Jump right into this video here, When We Were Sisters, all about families and love and guidance and taking care of each other. All right, you'll really enjoy that book review. And the book was phenomenal. All right, so see you in the next one.